Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Serta iComfort Blue 100 mattress. Now, you may have already seen the overview video that we did of the entire iComfort memory foam line. Uh, this is going to be an actual in-depth review of one specific model, the Blue 100. Um, and this is a model that you may know you can find in a lot of your local stores, but you can also buy it directly from Serta through their website. So we're excited to show it to you, stick around. One of the first things people want to know about a mattress is just how soft it is. And in the case of the Blue 100, um, it's a little tricky to characterize um, because there's some difference in terms of the softness of the different layers of this mattress. But overall, I would put this as a medium on our softness spectrum, maybe towards the firmer side of that medium bucket, though. Uh, and the, the, the nuance here is that the, the top layers are very soft. Um, you have about two and a half inches or so of really soft memory foam on the top, but underneath that are much firmer support layers. And so depending on the position you're in or how heavy you are, you may or may not be accessing those firmer layers. If you are, for example, for me on my side, um, it feels certainly a lot firmer than it does when I'm on my back, for example. So the lighter you are, um, the softer it will feel as well as uh, on your back, it's likely to feel a little softer than it will on your side, for example. So now let's get into some of the details on what's actually in an iComfort Blue 100 mattress. First of all, this is an all, basically a 10 inch mattress altogether. The foam layers add up to about nine and three quarters inches, plus the cover basically brings you to 10 inches. Um, altogether, you see four layers here, uh, the top two of which are memory foam, and then you have some uh, more supportive foams down below. Uh, let's start at the top. You have three quarter inch layer of what they call temp temp active gel memory foam, which is, which is a, a memory foam where you can actually see the little flecks of gel in it. Um, this is a memory foam, it's, it's definitely got some of that slow responsiveness, but not as much as some memory foams for sure. It's overall, it's a pretty quick responding foam. And then below that, you have a two inch layer of what they call uh, Fuse Evercool gel memory foam. Um, and this is definitely, I, th I would say, the slowest responding layer of the mattress in terms of that delayed responsiveness, but it's also probably the softest layer. If I just compare these two, I think that um, I think that this layer is actually a little softer than this top layer even. Um, and then below that you have basically what they're calling sort of a support foam. Uh, I would describe it more as like a transition foam. It's definitely easing uh, the transition between these uh, softer comfort layers up on top and this uh, much firmer support core down below. Um, and that's about a one inch layer. And then at the very bottom, you have a six inch support core. One thing that's interesting about this support core is that it actually has uh, two rails going down the edge that are actually firmer than this foam you're seeing here. This is pretty representative of what you find underneath the center of the mattress. And then if you were to poke on the sides of the mattress, it's actually a bit firmer. And we'll talk about what that results for you in terms of uh, some of the edge support features later in the video. Um, and then, of course, all of this is wrapped in uh, this cover, which personally, I really do like this cover. It's got kind of a sweatshirt type material to it, a little bit of stretch, as you can see here. It's very sturdy um, and, and, and pretty soft. And so, uh, and I just find it to be like a, a, an attractive cover personally. So there you have it. That's the materials and construction of the iComfort Blue 100. So now we're going to get into the two most important things that absolutely everybody has to get from their mattress, which are back support and pressure relief. And in terms of the back support of this mattress, I'm going to start out by uh, showing you what it looks like with me on my back. And just for context, I'm about six feet, not quite 200 pounds. And what you can see here is that uh, this mattress is a pretty uh, good support fit for my um, spine in this particular position. Uh, I feel like um, there's enough underlying firmness that we talked about in this mattress to kind of hold me pretty nicely horizontally. I'm getting a little bit of lumbar support here. Um, so overall, my, my hips are allowed to sink in enough, but not too much, and I feel well supported in this position. Um, if I switch over to my side, now this is the position where I'm starting to think not only about spinal alignment, but also about pressure relief because I have my weight concentrated over the small surface area. But uh, Overall, what I would say is I feel pretty good in terms of spinal alignment. Um, I definitely feel like my hip, uh, shoulders, I mean, are allowed to get enough into the mattress that, that I can kind of keep that top of my spine in pretty good alignment. Um, if there's one thing that I'm maybe concerned about for me on this model is that as I get 
into this position and I'm in it for a little while, I do feel like my shoulders kind of start to run into those firmer layers um, down into the mattress a bit, which aren't as pressure relieving as these upper layers. I'm still benefiting from the memory foam and these top layers, but um, I do feel like if I was primarily a side sleeper, which I'm not, I would rather be on maybe a mattress that has a little bit more of those comfort layers on top to give me a little bit more pressure relief in this position. Um, now, if I flip over to my stomach, um, this would be um, uh, not a position I spend a whole lot of time in, but um, overall I'd say like if I were um, a stomach sleeper and I were looking at mattresses in this eye comfort line, this would probably be the one that I would go with insofar as that it does have um, probably the, the least amount of sink in this heaviest part of your body area, which is gonna be like the key thing you need to watch out for as a stomach sleeper. You don't want too much sink underneath your hips because that gets you into that inverted position, which is a recipe for back pain. So overall, I felt like this is pretty good. I probably still would feel like um, maybe there was a, a little bit more memory foam than I would like as a stomach sleeper of my weight. Um, so maybe a little more sink than I would like, but I think I could certainly uh, spend time in this position and, and be fine. Um, so I guess if I were to sum that up, I think that uh, folks who are lighter than me and side sleepers um, may not encounter that issue I uh, encountered with pressure relief. They might be totally fine uh, from both a spinal alignment and pressure relief standpoint on their side, um, as well as on their stomach and their back. If you're heavier than me, um, I do think you could run into some issues with pressure relief on your side and also perhaps uh, spinal alignment on your stomach. So now we're gonna get into some of the characteristics of the mattress that are more preference-based, meaning they can be one way or another, neither of which is better, it's just about your preference. And the first of these we call responsiveness, which is basically the difference between that sort of slow responding memory feel or more of a quick responding bounce. And in the case of the entire eye comfort line, with this model as no exception, this is really a story of that slow responsive side of that spectrum. Um, so you can just see here, if I press into the mattress, it's definitely gonna give you that slow memory recovery. Um, it's not like the slowest memory foam, um, and there actually are models in this eye comfort line that we showed you uh, in our overview video that are even slower to recover, uh, but this is definitely, uh, has about two and a half inches of that slow responding memory foam, and particularly the, the second layer down is, is that slow, uh, is, is especially slower. Um, and just to give you a sense of the bounce, uh, we typically talk about the bounce at different levels of the mattress surface bounce there's you know you're talking about just this hitting the memory foam alone and that's got no bounce whatsoever um, at the mid level we typically drop this bowling ball um, and you can see just a little bit of bounce there because you're obviously the bowling ball is hitting with enough force that you're getting through to those uh, non-memory foam layers underneath which have just the tiniest bit of bounce but not nearly enough bounce to do anything with my full 200 pound frame. So you can pretty much see that there is absolutely no bounce when I throw uh, my whole weight on the mattress. So overall, we would say this mattress is definitely over towards the slow responding side of that spectrum. The next preference-based characteristic we're gonna talk about is what we call cushioning depth, which is the difference between sleeping more in your mattress or sleeping on your mattress. And in the case of the Blue 100, we would classify this as having slightly deeper than average cushioning, meaning you're gonna get a little bit of that hugged or cradled sensation, um, more so than you're gonna get the sensation of, say, floating on top of your mattress. But it's probably within the context of the eye comfort line, the model that has maybe the least of that deep cushioning, um, so you're probably gonna find that as memory foam mattresses go, and particularly as eye comfort mattresses go, it's gonna give you the, the, the closest kind of compromise between uh, sleeping in your mattress and floating on top of your mattress. But, um, but in general, we would put this more towards that in or hugged and cradled side of the spectrum. And if I'm just gonna show you this with the bowling ball, because this gives you a chance to compare this to other mattresses we've reviewed, um, you can see that uh, indeed, the mattress or the bowling ball is a, a little bit more hugged and uh, cradled by the mattress and sinks a little deeper into the mattress than on other mattresses that we reviewed. 
So now we're going to get into what we call priority-based characteristics, which are things about a mattress that can be better or worse, but may or may not be a priority for you personally. And the first of these is motion isolation, which as you may know refers to to what degree is the person on, say, that side of the mattress going to be affected by or disturbed by what's happening over on this side. And we test this a couple different ways. The first is we're going to drop this 16-pound uh, bowling ball on the mattress, and you can see that the bowling pin there uh, is barely disturbed at all and certainly does not tip over. And the second way I'm going to test it is by dropping my whole 200 pounds on the mattress. And you can see that, again, there's no way to tip this thing over. So uh, unsurprisingly, the foam core with the shock, shock absorbing memory foam on top of it um, is excellent at preventing motion transfer from one side of this mattress to another. One concern that some people are going to have about a memory foam mattress is the ease of repositioning. So we just wanted to show you what it's like to move around on this mattress. And what I would say is it does take a little bit more effort than it does on, on some mattresses that have like more quick responsiveness and maybe not quite as deep a cushioning. Um, but as memory foam mattresses go, uh, we talked about how this is uh, probably not as deep a cushioning as a lot of other memory foam mattresses. Um, and we also talked about how this memory foam is pretty soft, which makes it a little easier to kind of roll into. So, I think you're less likely to have that sort of stuck in a hole feeling on this mattress than you would maybe on some other memory foam mattresses. But overall, it definitely is not a problem for me. So I think for most people, repositioning is not going to be an issue, but we wanted to make sure we cover this in case it's a particular concern for you. Another concern for some people, particularly on a memory foam mattress like this one, is temperature or a concern about overheating during the night. And you may have heard us say that if temperature is a known issue for you, then you may be better served in general by a mattress that has less memory foam, uh, at least on this front. That being said, the iComfort product line as a whole was designed in order to introduce features to memory foam that it would allow it to sleep cooler. And if you watched our overview video of the entire iComfort line, you may have seen me uh, talk about some really palpable coolness to the touch features that they have in, in, this, part of, in this product line. Um, I can tell you that on this Blue 100 model, I'm not getting a lot of that coolness to the touch. Most of those features that we were showing you on that front were at the Blue Max part of the product line, which is the higher end part of the product line. However, this model does have uh, some characteristics that are designed to keep their memory foam cooler. Uh, in particular, they mostly achieve that through the use of gel in the memory foam. Uh, we showed you that uh, top three quarter inch layer of temp active gel, which has the kind of visible flex of gel, and below that you have another two inch layer of gel memory foam. And gel, what it is, is a conductor, um, sort of like a semi-solid, so think of water as a, 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 a liquid, um, and this is somewhere in between a solid and a liquid. And like water, a semi-solid allows heat to travel through it, and therefore can travel more efficiently away from your body, and that's uh, how it is designed to help, help you sleep a little cooler than on traditional memory foam. What we would add to that is that relative to some of the other models in this line, for example, uh, the iComfort line that is, the uh, Blue 100 has just probably not as deep a cushioning, um, which means that more of your body's surface area is exposed to the air and thereby allowed to or able to more efficiently dispel heat during the night. So I guess on balance what we would say is that if you like memory foam but have some concerns about temperature, then those are a couple of things that we think you can take some comfort from on this front. Another concern for some people is edge support. So we always make sure to cover this in our reviews. And in the case of uh, most all foam mattresses, this is not a strength. Um, what I would say about the iComfort uh, Blue 100 here is that this is definitely better than most all foam mattresses on this front. Um, they actually do have uh, a little bit of, a, of an edge support feature here. They've taken, um, some of the underlying foam core and basically have a, a rail of firmer foam going along the two edges. Um, and you can definitely notice it. Um, I mean, I can notice that, for example, this foam here on the side is firmer than the foam at the foot of the mattress, um, which is not, I don't think, as edge reinforced. Um, so basically, uh, you can even see it here as I'm sitting on the edge that this dip is, um, while you know, still noticeable for sure, it is less pronounced than it would be uh, without this feature and certainly less pronounced than many of the all foam mattresses that you've seen us review. Um, so overall, um, 
certainly ranks well for an all foam mattress. Um, and then what you can, where you can really see the benefit of this is as I lay on the edge of this mattress, um, now particularly a mattress that has uh, two plus inches of memory foam at the top, you would normally see a lot of uh, lean here. And then as I sink into the memory foam, I would have this sensation of just continually leaning out of bed, none of which I'm getting here. So overall, I feel pretty stable here in a prone position. So um, what I would say is that this memory, this edge support is definitely for an all foam mattress, very good. Another concern for some people is the degree of natural materials in a mattress, or maybe just the lack of harmful chemicals. And in terms of the uh, Serta iComfort line, this is not a line that's made with really any natural materials, nor do they claim it to be one. Um, that being said, uh, what we can tell you about this line on this front is that all of the foams that Serta uses to make this mattress are certified to the Serta Pure standard, which is a standard that looks for the presence of and off-gassing of various uh, harmful materials and certifies that not none are present beyond some minimally acceptable threshold. So if this is an area of concern for you, then we do think that this is uh, something that you can take some comfort from on this front. One thing we get asked about more and more these days is adjustable base compatibility. So we wanted to make sure we showed you the iComfort Blue 100 on an adjustable base in a fully articulated elevated position here. Um, and when we think about adjustable base compatibility, we always think about three things. Number one, is it gonna damage the mattress in any way? And in this front, um, this is a mattress that is absolutely designed to bend and flex on an adjustable base. So, um, so check on that front. Uh, number two is how well does it conform to the base? And overall, we would say this conforms very well. Um, you will notice that at the foot of the bed, it's a little bit elevated. This is totally normal and to be expected for a brand new mattress. Over time, it will uh, break in on that front and you won't see that as much. But here's an area, for example, if I were to get off the mattress, you see a lot of mattresses will pop right up here. Um, this mattress really like conforms super well here and holds its shape. So uh, we would say this conforms very well. Um, and the last point would be, uh, does anything kind of weird happen when you have it on an adjustable base? Do you have any bowing here or big clumping here? Uh, and overall, again, I would say, no, there's nothing weird that we're observing that happens when this mattress is, is bent in an adjustable base position. So on balance, we'd say that this is a mattress that is definitely very adjustable base compatible. Three things that are gonna be important to just about any mattress shopper, particularly when you're buying a mattress online, are delivery, return policy, and warranty. In the case of delivery, uh, if you're buying this mattress directly from Serta, meaning through their website, uh, it actually comes with free white glove delivery. And one thing we should clarify up front is that this is not a mattress that ever gets folded or compressed and rolled uh, and stuffed in a box. It comes full size. Its box is full size. Um, and what I mean by white glove delivery is that they will deliver it not only to your home, but actually all the way into your bedroom. And in fact, if you've got an existing mattress there, they'll even relocate that for you to another bedroom or remove it from your house entirely. And all of that is included uh, in this free white glove delivery service, which is pretty unique and compelling relative to most uh, online mattress companies. Uh, in terms of the return policy, um, Serta, if you buy directly from them, is actually currently um, updating their return policy. So we're gonna leave that out since we don't know what the new return policy is gonna be. But we just wanna clarify that, that delivery and return policy are both going to depend on which retailer you buy it from. So for example, if you buy this mattress from a local store, uh, the delivery and return policy you get is gonna be completely dependent on their uh, delivery and return policies. Um, now warranty, that's something that's gonna be consistent across anywhere you buy this. Um, the warranty that CERT offers on the iConvert line is a 10-year warranty. Uh, and the most important number we always talk about in a mattress warranty is how they define a body impression. In the case of the iComfort line, it's three quarters of an inch or greater. Um, and that is a good number. Um, so that's pretty much the standard for memory foam mattresses amongst major manufacturers, um, but it does compare favorably to relative to some of their online competitors. One thing that's important to just about every mattress shopper is value. And when we think about value, we always think about how much does it cost, what's in it, and how long do we think it's going to last. In terms of the iComfort Blue 100, this is a mattress that sells for $10.99 in a queen size, um, and that's for the mattress itself, uh, plus an optional $200 for a box spring that matches. 
Um, and that's going to be the same price that you're going to see on the CERTA website, as well as it should be the lowest price that you're going to see in any of their retailer stores, because this is a map priced product. Um, in terms of what you're getting for that, you're getting effectively a 10 inch memory foam mattress with what we would consider to be almost three inches of premium comfort materials, specifically those two layers of memory foam that we showed you. Um, in terms of uh, how long we think it's going to last, this is an area where we typically turn to foam densities as our best, albeit imperfect, predictor of longevity. And in this case, um, CERTA doesn't disclose uh, the foam densities that they use in this material, in this mattress, so, um, or really in, in uh, any of the iComfort mattresses. So uh, we don't really have a good read on uh, maybe how long we think those foams will hold up. Um, but in terms of uh, overall, if we, were to, if we were going to try to compare this to um, mattresses that we think seem similar to this, that you might find whether in local stores or online. Obviously, this is a mattress that you're likely to find in local stores. Uh, so we principally would be comparing it to ones you find online. Um, notwithstanding the point that it's hard to know how it compares in terms of foam qualities and densities, um, we would say probably uh, this is something that's gonna cost a little bit more than what you might find from a typical online brand. But I wanna point out that it's by no means anywhere near um, a, as big a price difference as those very same online brands would uh, have you believe. Um, it's not uncommon to see them claim that their mattress would cost two or three times as much uh, in a local store. Well, that's absolutely not the case. This is a mattress that you find in a local store and the price that you're seeing here is nowhere near uh, two to three times what you'd find for, for a comparable mattress purchased online. So overall, um, it's maybe not the best value out there, but you also are getting uh, a very um, reputable brand, a company that's going to be around um, for a long time to you know, back up the mattress. So uh, we do still think it's an okay value. So just to sum up some of the things we've covered in this video, the Serta iComfort Blue 100 is a 10 inch memory foam mattress that has about three inches of gel memory foam right up at the top of the mattress. Uh, we talked about how if you're looking for a mattress with a lot of bounce, this is probably not going to be a good choice for you. Uh, likewise, we talked about how a side sleeper who's, say, my weight or heavier might find that you want a little bit more in the way of pressure relief, particularly when you're sleeping on your side. Uh, as well as if you're a stomach sleeper who's heavier than me, you might find that a memory foam mattress like this is not an ideal fit in, from a spinal alignment standpoint. Um, However, if you're looking for a mattress that has some of that slow responding memory feel um, and that has uh, a, maybe a little bit more of that hugged and cradled feeling than most mattresses, but not so much as many memory foam mattresses do, uh, and therefore is a little easier to reposition on than some memory foam mattresses, uh, and does have uh, some cooling features that traditional memory foam doesn't have, as well as uh, a mattress that has, as memory foam mattresses go, uh, very good edge support. And, uh, and like most memory foam mattresses, has excellent motion isolation. And if you're looking for a mattress from a brand that has been around for uh, over 80 years and is very likely to be around for the duration of the lifetime of this mattress to support you, um, and is certainly a well-known and trusted brand, then we do think that this is a mattress that you should consider. So we hope you found this video helpful in determining whether the Serta iComfort Blue 100 is the right mattress for you. If you did, by the way, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to our YouTube channel. That will help other mattress shoppers find this video too. Um, if you're still not sure though, we'd recommend that you go to goodbed.com and take our mattress match quiz, which you can find up in the header of any page of our website. This quiz will walk you through all of the same uh, features and characteristics that we covered in this video and ultimately we'll show you mattresses both online as well as in the local stores in your area that best match your personal needs and preferences. So we really think that that's a helpful feature that you ought to take advantage of. In the meantime though, we really thank you for watching and we hope you sleep well.